just click this link real quick, see what this is. Oh wow, tasty. Alright then, so let's just get into this. Um, <clears throat> it's more that triple nizzle. Um, Alright, so last time we played this, what happened? Um, we ended up taking different routes, didn't we? We started a new run with memories in, and we took new routes. Instead of going into door 5, we went into door 4 with uh, June, Lotus, and Santa, didn't we? Um, and after that, we ended up going into room 7 with Seven of Clover. Uh, so if you want a kind of idea as to where we are in parallel to our previous run, I think we're... Um, I think we're where we were in the laboratory, where with Lotus and Clover, when she was doing that mad programming shit and Science Boy caught on fire. I think that's where we are in terms of progress with this run. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, uh, we ended up going into this uh, operating room where we found this, uh, this mummy dude, this mannequin with a with a heart in him. <laughs> And we need to seek a way out. These dolls are really kind of creepy, you know. Hey, it says something here. John. You think that's the doll's name? Maybe? This thing is creepy. I wonder what's on the bed. John. <coughs> hey. I wonder what this thing is. It says KG on the display. So, kilograms? You think maybe it's a scale? Huh. There's some sort of lid on this thing. Why don't you try opening it? I can't. There's no handle. I can't get under it with my nails, either. Well, shit. A creepy medical mannequin is lying on the bed. Apparently his name is John. An operating table. Do you think old operating tables look like this? I have no idea. <laughs> a white cloth. Alright, so I think that's all we're getting from this place for now. Ugh, dude, I don't like that. Ugh, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> a medical mannequin with his gut showing. Yeah. Gross. Hey, Junpei. Has a slit in this thing's chest. There is. There's something in there. Maybe we can get it out. <sighs> oh, oh yeah. Damn it. Stinking thing won't budge. It's stuck. I guess you can't just use force on this one then. We need something small that can fit into the little hole. Yeah. Well, how about Seven's dick? <laughs> Whoa! Alright, something small. Oh, the surgery stuff. There's some scalpels, a few pair of forceps, and a couple of syringes. What if it's too rusty to be useful, though? Hey, there's a scalpel here that looks new. Bing. Sweet. Scalpel, it's not rusty. Seems like it was put here for a reason, huh? You think it's telling us to cut something? Yeah, I do. Alright, so I'm guessing this is not the thing that we use for the mannequin doll, but, you know, it won't hurt to try while we're here. You can see this thing's internal organs. If we had something that could fit into those cracks, maybe we could take out some of the internal organs. Alright, never mind. A petition. Nothing suspicious about it. Um... You think maybe we could open it with the scalpel? There's something that looks like it could be a... a a scale next to the operating table. It's something that looks like a lid on the front of it. I want to cut the mannequin. John is just lying there. <laughs> Wake up, John, you lazy fuck. Oh, whoa, bud. Some forceps. Are those scissors? They look kind of funny. No, that's probably a pair of forceps. Surgeons use them during operations. They can hold blood vessels shut and keep tissue out of the way. You can use it to pull stuff out of small holes or something like that. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. A bunch of surgical tools.
Ugh, dude! No! Another medical mannequin? From the looks of it, this one's a chick. She has a name, too. Lucy. Poor thing. Looks like Miss Lucy only has a head and a left arm. Maybe we're supposed to gather all of her parts. Some kind of device that's ha attached to the bed. It says KG on the panel. Is this a scale? I see. What's this thing? It's got these short iron legs. Maybe it's a heater. There's nothing inside it. Maybe it's supposed to heat something like that gauze to kill the bacteria. There's a boiling thingy over there. Yeah, there's nothing on the lid or in the drawers. A fake chest? Yeah, that's gross! This is the chest. It's a woman's chest. The heart's gone, but it's pretty hot. Does that kind of, does that kind of thing turn you on, Seven? You're a real creepo. <laughs> Seven titties. There are a whole bunch of bottles on the shelves. They all look like medicine. They've got labels, but they're all big medical words I don't really understand. Drawers are empty. Yeah, nothing there. Alrighty. Um, so let's use our tings on. I got a fake organ. Sweet. <laughs> so yeah. So we took the organ thingy out the chest thingy. It's a lung, not an organ thingy. Huh? This part here on the back. It's all rubbery. You're right. So. It's a fake organ, of course it'd be... Wait, what's Seven grabbing it for? Yeah, it feels like there's something in here. You think we can cut through the rubber part? Alright, let's try cutting this organ with a scalpel. I got an organ key! What? what? There's a key in this... Who fucking breathed in an organ? Found a key in an internal organ? Oh, wow. Um, sweet? Okay, so let's go and put this, uh, chest on, uh, on Miss Lucy. <laughs> this bed doesn't look very comfortable. Okay. Lucy's head and left arm is sitting on the bed. Maybe something will happen if we gather all of her body parts. Um... Yeah, it's locked. Cool, it's unlocked. <laughs> Let's see if... Huh, piece of paper. What's this? Is this some kind of medical record? Alright, I, mean, I guess it's gonna give us information on John and Lucy. Uh... Alright, so John's weighing in at 51.3 kg, Lucy 53.2. Uh... Nothing really sticking out about them, except for the hole, you know. I got a hole in my chest. Alright. Cabinet with a drawer in it. All right. Ah. What the hell are you doing? Do you want to get out of here? But I'm tired. I found a beaker. Okay. Whoa, but get out of here, lasers and shit. It's a ray of light going through the through the beaker. And it's hitting the thing on the right. The white light on the top is glowing. Yeah, but the red, blue, and purple ones still aren't lit. Right. Ah, okay, so this is ma this is matching with the colors that we saw in here, so let's have a gander. Huh. Won't open. Looks 
like it's locked. There's a red plate on it. Do you think that means something? Oh yeah, okay, so if we get the certain beam to hit to light up one of those lights, then we'll be able to open that respective cabinet, I'd imagine. A sink. The doctors and nurses probably washed their hands here before an operation. Nothing suspicious, though. Alright, um... Oh, no, it's locked. It won't even budge. Do you think this is the exit? What's this? Light switch? Huh, doesn't seem to be working. Looks like a light switch, but it ain't working. Well then. There are four different lights, each one a different color. White, red, blue, and purple. Does this thing react to something? And then the lights... And then the lights light up. I may have to put something in the beaker for it to change the ray of light. There are four different lights, each one a different color. White, red, blue, and purple. This is a reactor something down the right. Right, 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 right. Uh oh. What? Okay, hold on. Janie's sending me something. Ah, I'm scared. Oh my god! Janie, no! No! What the fuck? That was disgusting. But you will never know what I saw. Um. It says preparation room. You feel so violated. Alright, uh. Okay, so we've still got this organ key, which is interesting. There's a lock on the door. The key I've got won't open it. <laughs> Bollocks. Damn. I think it won't hurt to just, you know, try and open these doors, I suppose. Damn. Yeah. It's not opening. Locked, of course. The blue plate on here seems a little suspicious, though. Damn. Yeah. It's not opening. It won't even budge. It's got the blue purple... Uh, it's got the purple plate on it, too. Oh, whoops. I was wondering if maybe we could take it. Yeah. Alright, um... Your coat here. There's a bunch of hooks. Alright, let's think of something we haven't done yet. John is just lying there. As always. Scalp and forceps. They were rusty though. I don't think they'll be real useful. Just a wooden petition. Nothing special about it. Well, I need something to be special about something. It's a lot of tools. Right. Probably a heater. There's nothing on it. It's a pipe going outside. Indeed, there is. Hey, I know. Let's go through the pipe and escape. Are you nuts? What the hell is wrong with you? Jimpe, are you flexible like an octopus or something? <laughs> well. for boiling tools to sterilize. There's nothing in the drawer. Right, okay. Mm. Alex! It's 
That's a lot of medicine. I wonder if one of these is a laxative. Yeah, it sounds kind of gross, but I'm pretty sure every one of us had the same idea. If we had some laxatives, maybe we could crap out those bombs they were putting us. Fortunately. Damn it. I don't know what medicine does while here. <laughs> it's a good idea, but I would not want to shit out a bomb. <laughs> Awesome, it's unlocked. Aw, oh, shit. Blue liquid. I guess we put this in the beaker? Red liquid. And together they'll make purple. There's a note on top of the table. Iron 1, salt 2, water 3. Carbon dioxide, question mark. Ammonia, question mark. Ethanol, question mark. What do you think this is a hint for? Maybe it's got something to do with this box. Where? Where? The bullshit. Alright. Hey, Junpei. You think there are any slugs on this shit? Huh? Well, if there are, I was thinking we could put salt on them. What's she pointing at? The label says N A C L. Salt, huh? Do you think Seven would shrivel up if we put it on him? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey! You say something? There's a bottle of salt on the shelf. The label says NACL. Ah, good stuff. Let's go for a drink. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that bottle. It says C2H5OH, right? It's ethanol. That's right. It's also known as ethy alcohol. Al alcohol? I've never even heard of that. It's pretty much what booze is made of. So, you gonna drink it? Nah, I won't. <laughs> it, it might say that's what it is on the label, but there could be anything in there. That's a good point. Hmm? Something stinks. Does it come from the bottle? It says NH3. That, of course, stinks. It's ammonia. this? Looks like a can with a spray nozzle. It says CO2. Is this a can filled with carbon dioxide? Hey Junpei, there's dehydrogen monoxide on the shelf. Why don't you just say water? <laughs> yeah, they, they're going really hard with these fucking, with these names, aren't they? <laughs> and they know it too, which I like. <laughs> Okay, so that's all great and everything, so clearly we've got all the substances that are being referred to here on this uh, piece of paper. However, did people mix medicine on this thing? However, I'm not seeing how we can take numbers from these things. So salt is made up of one sodium atom and one chloride atom. Ah. Right, well, let's work with what we've got first, and we've got these, uh, bottles. So I say we, um, get whatever's in the lockers, maybe they'll even help us, uh, with this puzzle. Hey, it turned red! Forget about that, didn't you hear that just now? It's blue now. I think I heard another noise. I get it. Combine the red and the blue liquid to make a purple one. 
Good job, Joker. The purple light came on, and I heard it unlock. I'm sure it's unlocked. <laughs> the lock will be the purple plate. Has got to be unlocked. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. So I'm guessing that's everything in this room until we can go through this door. Um. Okay. So let's take a look at this again. Okay. Iron 1, salt 2, water 3. Carbon dioxide, ammonia, and ethanol. Line. Maybe question mark re represents a number. Well, yeah, I get that much. So this is ammonia up here. Okay, it says NH3 on the table. NH3. N is nitrogen and H is hydrogen. So in other words, ammonia is made of one nitrogen and three th hydrogen atoms. So would that make ammonia four? CO2. C is for carbon and O for oxygen. So carbon dioxide is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. So CO2 being three. Dude. C is carbon, H is hydrogen, O is oxygen. So basically, ethanol is made of two carbon atoms, six hydrogen atoms, and one oxygen atom. So that'd be nine. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Three. What was ammonia again? <laughs> I know ethanol is nine, so it'd be one, two, three, three, three. I want to say two. Let's have another look. Ammonia. Ammonia's composed of one nitrogen and three hydrogen, so it's four. Okay. So one, two, three, three, four, nine. Right? One, two, three, three, four, nine. Okay. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. It's like you have to enter a passcode on a keypad to open it. I can only enter three numbers. What? What? I'm sorry. Do you think maybe I only have to enter carbon dioxide, ammonia, and... Uh... Ethanol? I think? So that'd be 349. Okay, okay, yeah, you really gotta... Uh, come on, let's give it a shot. Uh, uh, yes! Alright, give me the heart. Oh, dude. A heart? This thing is super creepy. Uh, this ain't good for the heart. <laughs> okay, so we've got an arm, leg, leg, stomach, and titties. Do we have everything? You think we should go back? Yeah, I think that's probably the best. Clover nodded and left. Junpei was about to follow her when he realized that Seven wasn't following suit. Hey Seven, what's up? Oh well. He looked up at Junpei distractedly and then back down at the brown bottle he held cupped in his large hands. What's that? In response, Seven tossed the bar gently to jump in. He caught it and twisted it around to read the label. Ethylenodiamine tartrate? 
EDT. This tartaric ethylenediamine. <laughs> what kind of medicine is that? It's not medicine. I think it's an industrial strength detergent. Why would they have something like that here? Well, probably to clean up stuff. Clean what up? Fuck if I know. Still. It looks like it's cleaned up my brain. <laughs> what? Junpei looked up from the bottle. You remember something? Seven nodded slowly and spoke. Well, I remember a story about EDT. It happened about 50 years ago. There was this factory somewhere in America making big old EDT crystals. They were making it to sell as industrial strength cleaner, like I told you before. But... A year after the factory started up, something strange started to be happening to the crystals they were building. Water molecules started attaching themselves to EDT crystals. This made them into a sort of mutation of the original crystals, called Hydrate. I really love this soundtrack, man. I love this song. Once the crystal, uh, that crystal turns into a Hydrate, though, it's useless as a cleaner. The factory had to just dump the crystals as a Hydrate, and they were useless. But it didn't end there. After that day, the same thing started happening in EDT factories everywhere. Even ones no nowhere near that the first American factory. They've been making crystals the same way, with the same materials and the same equipment and environment. But now, all of a sudden, every single crystal they formed turned into a hydrate. So, if we take this, and then we talk about this whole, um... That whole crystallization story that, um that June was telling us before, and then we also take the story of the, the dog portrait test from Lotus with people, we see this common trend again, about how when one thing does it, even though there is no physical connection, somehow everything to do with that thing, so all of the people perceived the painting, all those things crystallized, all of these things became hydrates, they all did it. Why? In fact, ever since that day, no factory anywhere had been able to make a pure EDT crystal. Even in EDT research done years before, they never got into hydrate. But after it happened at the first factory, it just spread. <coughs> it was like... Man, how'd you say it? Like the molecules were communicating with one another? Transmitting information in a way humans couldn't perceive? This phenomena spread throughout the world, right? Junpei looked up at Seven with half a smirk. Seven stared at him dumbfounded. Yeah, that's... That's it, exactly. But how did you know? I heard another story kind of like that one. When? In the freezer. What? The freezer? Junpei told Seven the story he heard from June in the freezer in the kitchen. How one day glycerin became began to crystallize, and the story of ice that wouldn't melt at room temperature. When Junpei was done, Seven looked thoughtful and absent-mindedly rubbed the scar on his chin. Ice that doesn't melt at room temperature, huh? That sound familiar? Yeah. Hold up, I feel like I remember something. It's it's right there. Seven squinted. His eyes stared off into space as if he was trying to desperately focus on something far away. Do you... ...know about Ice Nine? Do you know about Ice Nine? Ice Nine... Ice Nine, Ice Nine... Ice... Suddenly Seven's eyes shot open. That's it! I remember now! That woman! She's on this boat! That woman? Alice! Alice, all ice? Ice nine? Alice? Who's Alice? Come on! The, wo the woman who won't melt at room temperature? It became clear to Seven that Junpei had no idea what he was talking about. He ran his hand across his face and took a deep breath. Are we talking about that mummy thing? 
You know how the Titanic sank on April 15th, 1912, right? Yeah. More than 1,500 people died. Worst m what maritime accident in history. What about it? Did you hear about the boat that was sent to collect the dead bodies? Uh, I think that was the uh, RMS Carpathia, Pathia, right? It was a cruise liner, just like the Titanic. No. That was the ship that picked up the survivors. The ship that collected the dead bodies was the C.S. McKay Bennett. The McKay Bennett showed up on April 17th, two days after the accident. It set out from Halifax, a port in Canada, and recovered 306 bodies. The Atlantic that far north was really cold. It would have to be for, for there to be icebergs and stuff. Anyway, the bodies they pulled out of the water were frozen solid. Now, this isn't a very nice story. So what happened next? Well, they say the McKay Bennett recovered something more than just dead bodies. There were various bits of stuff floating around in the water. Things like uh, things the drowned had carried with them, or stuff dislodged as the ship sank. One of the things they found was a coffin. Aw, oh, shit. I guess that would explain the Egyptian hier hieroglyphs in the, uh, oil ice book. Hmm. It's starting to piece together, isn't it? Bit by bit. It's starting to piece. A coffin? Yeah. A wooden 